focus. Well, Derek, when he's on form... When... Hello and welcome. Amid all the hustle and bustle of Marseille, we find this wonderful football theatre, the Orange Vélodrome. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And every fan is full of hope on this particular day. I say that because it is the very first match of the new season. It's France versus the Czech Republic. Well, thanks, Derek. This should be interesting. New campaign, new rivalry, so much to look forward to. Let's hope it's a good game. Here's the side France will go with. Well, it's a 4-5-1, but with three of the midfield players giving close support to the centre-forward and the other two sitting deeper. Also watch out for the fullbacks getting forward at every opportunity. They do like to get crosses into the box. And the starting eleven for the Czech Republic. Well, we believe they're going to play with the same system here, but it's all about the midfield battle. Whoever wins that should control the tactics. Tomasz Socek. Promising pass. And the referee has given it. It will be a penalty. Can they forge ahead? Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a jet. And he finds the net. No difficulties encountered. Well, when you see this again, what a good penalty it is. He threatens to hit it with power, just puts his toe underneath the ball and dinks it down the middle. You've got to have a lot of courage to play like that. Mbappe. Really good interception. Individual brilliance. The inside route looking promising. Must score! And there it is! A goal! I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Radio. Coman. Teo Hernandez now. And losing possession. Kunde. William Saliba. Teo Hernandez now. Kunde, Teo Hernandez, nicely timed tackle, teammates in the middle, and the ball sailing over everyone in the centre, and coolly done in the end. So far. Well, that one has promise. Well, there's defensive solidity for you. Teo Hernandez. It's with Kingsley Coman. And France pushing forward with options available. But the danger averted for now. Massopust. It's with Masopust. So check. What can he do with it now? Is it going to be? Well, the keeper in position to prevent another goal from him. Well, he's a massive threat. That really could have been his second goal there. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Teo Hernandez. William Saliba. Chouameni. And Dembele couldn't keep the ball. Teo Hernandez. Well, good effect of pressure. Not the best challenge. Free kick. A 
An advantage coming into play, and rightly so. Chouameni. Close. Tempele. On to Coman. Happy to take on the shot. Couldn't quite hang on. Oh, right in the nick of time. And using his strength to shield the ball. Good use of advantage by the referee. Well timed tackle. Over the touchline for what will be a France throw. Coman. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. So far. Well, it clearly was deflected, so it will be their throw-in. Well, I have to say, the crowd are right. They need to start winning the ball back higher up the pitch. This could be troublesome. Well, time is up as far as the first half is concerned here in Marseille. Well, we don't often say this, do we? But Kylian Mbappe hasn't had too much to say for himself. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. France looking dangerous here, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Mbappe. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. Mbappe! In it goes to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, France just a goal behind now, and you never know, you sense the momentum may be with them. Aurelien Chouameni. Diaby. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. And offside it is. Tomasz Socek. Fine work from France to win back possession. Martin Wittig. Are putting all their energies into winning back possession. Diaby. Now well, let's see about the cross. And trouble is brewing. Well, a good tackle. Strong but fair tackle. Mm -hmm. 
Well, couldn't keep it. Close. Aurelien Chouameni. Oh, tight offside decision, but the flag does go up. Kunde. And here's Saliba. Aurelien Chouameni. Close. Keeping the ball moving. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. And France exploiting the space on the flank. And Coman at the back post. Oh, a goal! Level now! The lead has evaporated! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. Vitik. Sofal. And a chance to whip it in here. Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that. A possession lost, intercepted. Polish. A bit wasteful from France. Oh, splendid skill. Now well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. And that's very intelligent play to win back possession. Just ten minutes remaining here. William Saliba. Chouameni. On the attack, is there to be late drama? Crossing into the middle. Oh, a goal! Can you believe what we're watching? It truly is a comeback and a half. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, but you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. And space for them here on the flank. And beating the defender. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Plenty of support here. Sadilek. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Dembele. On to Diaby. Jonathan Close. Coman. Dembele. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And the final whistle is sounded. A victory here for France. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? 
Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. What a strong individual statement of this game from Kingsley Coman. Interesting.